My boy pageant fans, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hey Adam G. How are you guys all doing? For today's content guys, I will finally be talking about my final hot picks for the ongoing Miss Supranational happening in Poland right now. And if you have been following the pageant closely there, I think you might already have an idea who will win this coming weekend. For the sake of, for the purpose of making this video very short guys, I will just name my 11 heavy favorites for the title. But you can check out the rest of my picks with my final leaderboard which I will post on my Instagram as soon as I wake up. And my basis for my final leaderboard is the performances of these ladies during the preliminary competition which took place two days ago. And if you guys watched it, you would realize it is turning out to be a battle between the pageant veterans and fresh faces in the competition. So for sure, alam nyo na guys kung sino yung mga sinatinutukoy kong mga pageant veterans at sino yung mga umaalagwang mga fresh faces, right? Here we go. First of all, I want to say how stunned I am at the production level the entire Miss Supranational organization put up for this crucial event. Guys, grabe! Malaki na yung stage nila for the preliminaries compared to their previous years, di ba? The stage was huge, glossy, and had an extended runway for all the contestants to showcase their catwalk skills. Miss Supra, grabe, nagulat ako, really leveled up this year, and I really can't wait if yung stage na gagamitin nila will also be the same stage that they will use again for the finals night. Ang lakas, maka-glossy talaga. So now let's proceed to my top 11 picks and number 11 on my list is Alison Black from the Philippines. So guys, I slept the whole time as it was early dawn here in the Philippines when the prelims was taking place there in Poland. And when I woke up guys, I was so happy with what Alison had for her performance during the prelims. I thought guys, at the lang, she did pretty well in the competition with her very clean and neat catwalk for both her swim and evening gown. Tapos guys, nung una siyang lumitaw for her swimsuit competition, I love her choice of her pink swimsuit, a one-piece cut out which gave her the right curves in the right places and it reminded me so much of Catriona's swimsuit during Miss Universe. Tapos guys, her walk was very fun and flirty and she radiated with so much joy with that smile and you can see that she was just having fun with her walk and that's what's most important. Yun nga lang guys, how I wish she could have made an eye contact during the start of her performance to give it a powerful start though, napansin nyo. So guys, when it came to her evening gown performance naman, she looks so elegant in her Francis Libiran gown. And in case this gown looks familiar with you guys, this one, one of one of Bea Luigi Gomez's gown options for Miss Universe last year. So, in terms of walk, I love her walk here. She took her time there, but I feel she could have chosen a better gown to enhance her showmanship. I feel the color of the gown did not do justice to her figure as it made her look quite full or malapad. You know what I mean? Given the design and color of the embellishments at the bodice of the gown. Yes, the gown was cinched, kung napansin nyo, but how I wish the color of the, her gown could have been different to give her an illusion of an hourglass figure, similar to how Miss Universe Brazil did it with her gown in Miss Universe 2012 finals. Naaalala nyo pa ba? And I'm just glad that Alison is having fun and giving her best every time she comes out on stage. As long as she maintains our placement streak in Miss Supranational, I will be so happy already. And... If she makes it to top 10 or top 5, bonus na lang talaga. I will be happier. And now we go to my 10th spot and I'm giving it to Alex Beletoil from Mauritius. Oh wow guys, nakita nyo naman. This is the first time I was so blown away by a candidate from Mauritius. Alex just looks so incredibly beautiful. Guys, look over with her styling and overall performance. Her catwalk was very clean for both rounds. The choice of one-piece swimsuit never diminished her sexiness as it really made her figure a stand out with those luscious legs and skin. Napansin nyo? And same with her evening gown where she walked elegantly with that eye-popping orange color which made her look all the more divine and superb on stage. And now we go to my ninth spot and I'm giving it to Argentina's Myra Sis. Oh, wow, another stunner again. When this woman came out for her 
presentation, I was just stunned by her beautiful face on the Penelope Cruz with her bouncy walk and parted hair styling on the side. She really opened the show with a bang by giving me so much fire and sexiness on stage in that very, very brief moment. And then when she came out in her evening gown, I thought she really did well given her intricate figure, hugging gown, and sleek hairstyle which made me appreciate all the more the beauty of her face. And now we go to my 8th spot and I'm giving it to Thailand's Prewanit Shrong Tong. Yeah guys, I know. It really pains me to put Priu here in in this position as she is really my sentimental favorite to win this year. No doubt she has the beauty, grace, poise, and killer catwalk skills to nail everything which was evident in her swim performance. However, I feel she was holding it back during the evening gown round. I also think she could have picked a better gown to showcase her showmanship as I feel this panty gown that she was wearing was too much for my taste. For me, it was quite risque. But who knows? She could be reserving a better gown for the finals. So if she gets the top 5 though, I would be so happy. Actually guys, she and Indonesia are neck and neck with my 5th position. I feel her choice of evening gown here and her ambivalent communication skill skills might cost her the crown. And now we go to my 7th spot and I'm giving it to Vietnam's Kim Duyen. There is no doubt that guys, Kim Duyen did not come to play for her second international competition and we have always felt that since her arrival in Poland. Whereas I was left wanting with her subdued performances in her initial outings here in this pageant, I now realize guys it has been a strategy to differentiate herself from her previous outing. And it's working. Ngayon ko lang talaga guys na-appreciate. Ngayon it's really working. She made it a top model and gave a very good showing on the Miss Elegance sub-event. And the streak still continues to her preliminary for performance. Her stage presence is just so exemplary. Clary. All she has to do is just nail her Q&A. But the reason why I'm putting her in this position is because, guys, I feel during the preliminary competition, just like Thailand, she was also holding it back. So I don't know why what's holding her back. Sana binigay na lang niya yung tinodo na niya yung performance niya because sayang eh. This is, might probably be her last international competition and I know she could do it. So I don't know if she was overthinking at that moment. And now we go to my top 6 slot and I'm giving it to Indonesia's Dinda Krishela. Ah, uh, guys, have you seen how Dinda really killed both her performances here in preliminaries? I thought she was very fantastic in both rounds. The moment she came out in her one-piece swim, which I really love, I was so blown away by her smile. That smile, sa totoo lang, which reminded me so much of our very own Mutia the Tool back in 2013. It was very heartfelt and sincere. And ramdaman ko talaga, she is just so authentic. And when she came out in her evening gown naman, which is apparently inspired by a volcano in her country, I was also stunned by her elegance. The gown just looked freaking amazing on her. The walk was superb, the eye contact was direct, and the one-sided hairstyling was just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Everything talaga just screams per scream perfection for me, for her that time. There is nothing more to say except that she, Asana lang, she has to deliver a great answer in her Q&A round if she reaches top 5. And now we go to my top 5 and number 5 on my list is Colombia's Valentina de Guzman. Oh gosh, Miss Colombia. Another woman who I have been keeping an eye on since the start of this pageant this year. I know I know na who she really reminds me of na. Natalie Port Portman and Maureen Montang combined. Those eyes are really hypnotizing na pansin nyo. And that face is really supra prototype. However, when it came down to her pasarela, I really find it a bit tame and weak compared to her compatriots before, especially in Miss Universe. So I also hope she could also sport a hairstyle like a pony or sleek back hairstyle to enhance the beauty of her face even more. And now we go to my fourth spot and I'm giving it to India's Ridika Katnani. I feel I am giving this woman a disservice by just putting her on the fourth spot. But let me explain why, guys. I thought 
Tika killed it on her swim performance with her high energy and stunning sexy walk showcasing her curves. Nakikita nyo and pasarela skills. If it were up to me talaga guys, she would really be the best performer in this category. However, it is quite the opposite where I saw her walking in her blue gown as I feel it was too tame and did not do any justice to match the intensity or impact of her swimsuit performance. Although she looked elegant in her evening gown, the gown for me talaga, the gown design totally tamed her fiery personality here. And I wish she could have picked a better gown as well to highlight her curves, which I feel is one of, the as one of her assets in the competition. Now, having said this, if India won't win Miss Supranational this coming weekend, I want her to try out for Miss Universe someday. I also see her doing well here as I find her very Miss Universe material. And now we go to my top three and number three on my list is no surprise is Melis Vasquez from Venezuela. Trust Venezuela guys to never give up without giving a one big fight every time in pageants. Is Melis just really stunned me with her killer stage presence, beautiful smile, and incredible pasarela skills. As the only woman na pansin ko who wore a ponytail on this segment, all the more she really stood out. She also did the exact same styling with her evening gown performance which really made her a consistent performer. Whether styling on on-stage performance talaga, Venezuela knows how to kill the game. And now we go to my runner-up position and I'm giving it to Czech Republic's Kristina Malirova. Guys, that face is really snatch grab it czech republic's face is really heavenly can't you see i am so obsessed guys when she came out in her swim i thought she looked like a victoria's secret model with that fiery catwalk and strong hand waist pose in the end to signify how confident she was on stage and that straight hairstyle guys just and her choice of swim just made her all the more look current and then when she came out in her evening gown naman, she just looked so luminous in her long sleeve bias cut gown and despite its simplicity guys it was the face who really did the talking here it's just so so stunning so i have nothing to say anymore but thank you for blessing us with your goddessness christina and now we go to my overall winner, and no surprise, I'm giving it to Lalena M. Suane from South Africa. Damn, guys, this woman, grabe, guys. I just can't. Lalena was serving me Naomi Campbell realness talaga during the prelims when she came out during the show. I was really floored when she came out as I could no longer see or trace the Lelela that we had seen from her previous international pageant. She is now just 100% times more confident with her performance here. Like, is this really the Lalela that we are that I am seeing right now? I can no longer recognize her as she has definitely evolved to evolve to be a better performer. And I also love her evening gown here as it looks so stunning on her. Although I just find the fringe gloves a bit too costumey, the color was nonetheless exquisite and those fringes made her look more stunning in motion. So I really have to credit her team, the entire Miss South Africa organization, for this fabulous transformation it's like her team is never running out of ideas and styles to mold their contestants grabe guys their magic was just so evident here and this, this is how it has transformed lelela to become a strong contender as no one really came close to her two nights ago sa totoo lang guys south africa has never won this title so i think it's about time miss supranational crowns is first ever south african Miss Supranational title holder and that year should be now. So there you go guys. What do you think about my final hot picks for Miss Supranational this year? Does it match yours? As you can see guys, I tried to be very objective about this one. Equally distributed ang per continent on top 5 ko. One African, two Latinas, one Asian, and one European. It was so hard for me to put just one Asian in my list as I have three strong contenders in my list, or four actually. So let's see if I'm right. Let me know down your thoughts down below to see kung tama na if my picks matches yours as well. Alright guys, I'll be 
making my Mr. Supranational favorites on my next video. Stay tuned for that. See you on my next video. Bye! Pwede ko ulitin yung South Africa.